Today I show you how to shoot a gun like a boss. Hey guys, welcome back to VFX Films. My name is Isaiah, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a muzzle flash effect. <clears throat> As always, I'll be doing this in HitFilm 4 Express because not everyone has After Effects, and HitFilm is free. Now, I don't know why I haven't done this before, but if for some reason you couldn't find HitFilm 4 Express on the interwebs, then the link will be down in the description. Before we start guys, make sure you go down there and smash that like button. And if you're new, go down there and subscribe if you haven't already. <clears throat> now with all that stuff out of the way, let's go down to the computer. Okay guys, now that we're at the computer, first thing obviously you want to do is go into Hit Film. And uh, so you click Hit Film and hit click New up here. Do your um, stuff. So custom 1920 by 1080, 23.976. That's not according to you guys, that's just according to what you filmed your video at. <clears throat> now, you're going to want to click editor, or, yeah, editor, and then um, click import and import your footage. So Now, the reason why I stopped the video um, was because I have other scenes on that card from our movie, and from my movie, and um, I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. Now, this is a scene from my movie. But it's also in the trailer, so it doesn't contain any spoilers except for this dude shooting, which is a raider. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's oh. so loud. At least in my headphones. I'm gonna turn this down. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, the first thing you wanna do is click Make Composite Shot. Press OK. Now, you're also going to want to import some um, uh, assets. So I got all most of these from Hidden Crate, so Dusty Impact Side. Import assault rifle, smoky burst, and uh, where is it? Spark in sparks impact. <clears throat> okay, so now you're going to want to go to the point to where your actor is firing. So I'll actually be able to hear it because we used a BB gun. <laughs> Action. So at this point right here. Okay, we actually didn't have it loaded, obviously. I don't know, that would be stupid. Now, go down here, click New Layer, and hit Point. <clears throat> and you're going to want to move the point to um, the s barrel of your gun. Like that. Okay? And then you want to come over here into Transform, and hit Position on the keyframe. Go forward one frame. Also, if you didn't know, um, forward is for one frame is uh, period key and the backwards is comma key. All right. I only need to do it for a couple frames so I won't speed this up. Okay, that's good. All right. That's literally all you gotta do for the, for the point layer. And it follows it, okay. So the next thing you want to do is import your um, muzzle flare. Okay. And right click, move layers to playhead. Alright. And there you go. Apply it to the point layer and now you're done. I'm just kidding. No, that looks way too big. Okay. So what you want to do is go click on your assault rifle uh, muffle flare, go into transform and bring down the scale. Uh, here. Okay, let's bring down the scale a little bit more. All right, that should be fine, I guess. All right, uh, I'm gonna click it to none right now. Right there. Okay. Now what you want to do is bring in your smoke. Oh, also, what you want to do is go one more frame. Why is it working? All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to trim it to that. So it's only one frame. I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to go up here. Right-click the bottom one, and move layers to playhead. So now it's two frames. 
I'm going to apply both of these to the new point. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now what you want to do is bring in your smoke. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, something weird had popped up, and um, now I fixed it. All right. Let's do this. Um, so my smoke and bring it over here. Now we're gonna go one layer, one frame forward. Where's the smoke? Okay. All right, move layer to playhead. So I went one layer, a uh, one frame before the, bef one frame before my muzzle flare started, and I moved my um, smoke layer to that. So, like that. Now um, I'm actually gonna go one frame forward, and let's see, where does it keep? We're gonna go like that. Yeah. I'm actually gonna bring it under this layer. Like that. Or actually, I'm gonna put it on top. Let's see. Which one looks better? Whoops, I'm messing it up. Let's see. I'm gonna bring down the opacity to 50%. Yeah, it looks fine on top. All right, so right, come to the point where your muzzle flash ends and go. So on. So one, two. All right, it's ended. And go one, two, and then hit or c come over here. Hit opacity, the keyframe. Go one, two and make it zero <clears throat> okay all right yep all right and so you bring your now bringing your sparks control z and bring it over here so. all right we'll rotate them they kind of already got sparks, so actually we don't really need to do this one. But it lets, if your thing doesn't have sparks, if your um, if your muzzle flare doesn't have sparks, you can go to like oop layer properties, go to add or like screen. There we go. And then um. Line it up with your thing, bring down the scale, put it at the thing right like that. And you could actually, what you could do is you go to curves, and since they're like what really white for some reason, I'm gonna go. We could go to the reds and boost it. the greens that yeah that was good that was a little loud all right okay I'm actually gonna lower the volume that was good it's glitching out over here here we go yeah that, but we're not done here, so uh, I'm actually going to delete these sparks because my muzzle flare already has sparks. Your grade layer is selected. Like that. Okay. And now what you want to do is click on your curves your red and then make sure you select your mask and boost it about that much and as you can see it's gonna watch it looks super rough so basically what you want to do is go to shape 
feather strength and do 100 or maybe 50 there we go like that all right then you want to go to here draw another mask shape just pretty much do it anywhere where it would you know like that all right and the last one you want to do it on your actor's face so okay all right and then you want to um go to shape and do it 100 all right all right and then trim it to that point and go one oh hold on there we go trim it to that point Okay, and go to the point to where your muzzle flare ends. All right. Now, also make sure you don't um, parent your um, smoke layer to your point because if the smoke follows the gun, that looks weird because it's supposed to just, you know, puff out and then just fade away. Like what? Like instead of following, it would just be weird if you had the smoke just following the gun. It just watch. I'll show you why it would look weird. New point. And it would look weird if it just followed it, you know what I mean? Alright. And then, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you gotta do. And then add a sound effect, and then you're golden. So, this is what it should look like. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I want to thank you guys because we hit 60 subscribers today, uh, the day that I'm recording this, so I'm thankful for that. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you in the next one. Later!